So this one was called Dorothy Was Really an Immigrant. <laughs> it is odd how gazing into one's eyes can reveal their every value. She was a young girl, shortest of her class, never disobeyed when it came to patriotic textbooks, even though it was difficult to follow along to her teacher's foreign tongue. Born in Mexico and half raised in America, sliced in half of what seemed to be her yellow brick road, her mind was wide open but her lips were sealed and compressed from bright spotlights and dirt roads without concrete sidewalks. Too afraid to, too afraid to speak her mind because it would outrun her mouth and she knew if she wished daddy would stop beating mommy, it would make her responsible for their deportation. And there was no other form of transportation, but walking through that road exhausted her every muscle in a way that squeezed out remaining hope that she'll soon pass the buildings of critical theory and company and the bureau of superficial freedom. She stands in the middle of both her cultures, unable to lean to one side more than the other in that pathway of sunflower petals, except she only sees the colors of frozen smiling faces pasted on the name tags of Walmart greeters. To her, yellow was only the color of your nation, the kind left in public restrooms with expectations of gently scrubbing and reminders of wash your hands before you leave. There's no place like home, there's no place like home, but home was never here or in Mexico. Home was never where the heart is, where the food is. There was never a home. Only limitations and proclamations of false promises that were never expected to be kept in the first place. Frozen days and nights, the only kiss with sobs and cries. I won't repeat your names and labels, but you still remain to be unstable. Her silence was all that defined her, stuck in full stuck in full bookcases and overused library cards. Only writing aspired, but they never read past the cover. Their perception of her was never of change, only a mere number on a page. Only with one with too many letters and words and phrases, too overwhelming that repulse racist politicians. Silence seemed to define her, and that yellow brick road, with only thick hesitation of picking up the oldest book in the library, the American Dream, only found in the science fiction section. Thank you.